good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today is another day in the life as you can tell um it's a tuesday so it's a weekday um i really like to start my days off slow um taking b to go to the bathroom having some jesus time making coffee of course making sure i get a breakfast in um and then also just kind of like planning out my day and what i need to do i like to make a to-do list just to make sure i stay on track and everything um it's super helpful i started doing that a couple weeks ago and honestly like it's made a world of a difference because i have so much up in here that i tend to forget some things so just writing it all out in the quiet of the morning is super helpful so i like to do that i have to go teach later and um today i have to kind of plan out some choreography for um, recital pieces and such so you'll see that um but yeah it's just kind of like a slow day which which is always nice and john is actually home today he's actually still sleeping because there was a fertilizer plant behind his work that caught on fire yesterday super super scary there's like lots of gas and explosives and stuff like that so super not safe to be around that everyone within a mile radius of the plant had to be evacuated so john could not go to work today so he's at home and i think i hear him and b coming downstairs hi is daddy there He doesn't want to show himself. But yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I just finished my workout for the day i did a little inner thigh workout and an ab workout and oh my gosh i feel like i will definitely be feeling it tomorrow it was a really good workout but now john has gone to his dentist appointment so i'm gonna make the bed and take a shower get ready for the day get some makeup on get my hair done and then um maybe make some lunch and then maybe start planning some choreography and then in a little bit b and i are going to go on our walk we always go on like a little afternoon stroll it's something i really look forward to and i think he really looks forward to it too just to kind of get out get some fresh air um it's really nice and it's a really nice little bonding time for us so i think that's what's going to happen right now and usually i love to make my bed as soon as i wake up but john slept in a little bit today so the bed's not made 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys in a little bit. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So I just got out of the shower, so I figured I would kind of show you what I do for my daytime skin routine. So I know I talked about Dime before, and this is not sponsored, but just really passionate about their products. So Dime products are 100% vegan and cruelty free. They're free of parabens, free of sulfates, free of alcohol, and it's made in the USA. So love 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 dime products so what i go in with first is well first i go ahead and wash my face with their um cleanser and then i'll go ahead and use their super skin toner and their hyper glow serum which is so nice it makes your skin feel so dewy along with the hyaluronic acid serum for some hydration and plump and then I kind of seal the deal with the dewy day cream which is just so so nice it makes your skin feel so moisturized so yeah I just figured I would go ahead and just explain kind of what I do because it is so nice I use dime back Mm, maybe this time last year and then I switched to another skincare um, company I used beauty counter which I loved um, but I just wanted to kind of go back and try dime again and yeah so that's where we're at now and I am loving it it just makes your skin feel so so nice so if you're in the market for um some new skincare and you're just you're not sure i would highly recommend dime i wouldn't just say that to say that um i would only recommend something if i really like it and if i can say good things about it and i can definitely say good things about Dime. so yeah you guys should definitely go ahead and check out dime products and they don't just sell skincare i mean they sell a bunch of different things so that's definitely something you should check out if you are interested so yeah, I'm just going to finish off um, my skincare and go ahead and just like put a little bit of makeup on today. I don't really typically do anything super crazy with my makeup. I really just put on like a little tinted something on my face and then some blush, maybe some bronzer. And then I go in with some mascara and give my brows a good brush and maybe film in just a tiny bit for any sparse areas and then I call it a day because we still have to wear masks at um, the studio I teach for so I don't want anything too thick on my face where it would cause me to break out but something rather light and where I can look a little bit put together and not like I just woke up so kind of what I do on a daily basis because I do teach at the studio quite often so that's kind of what I do because I really did not want my skin to be breaking out every time I taught so definitely keeping it light on the face and yeah that's what kind of helps me um, prevent breakouts but yeah every now and again I will definitely get some breakout. I figured I would go ahead and show you really quick what I use for my makeup. So I use the True Match Lumi Glotion. It's a natural glow enhancer by L'Oreal Paris. Um, so yeah, I've been using this for a while now. I really like it. I mean, it gives you a little bit of a tint, like a little tint on your face. And um, it just leaves you looking really glowy. And it's really lightweight so I go ahead and I kind of just like apply it like I would a moisturizer all around the face and I am not looking at a mirror right now I'm looking straight into the camera so hopefully this turns out okay today and then I found this really nice cheap concealer from elf it's a hydrating camo concealer satin finish and I definitely need to go ahead and um, get some more because I am 
running out so I typically just go ahead and put it underneath my eyes and then any like areas on my face that needs a little bit of help and then I just go ahead and dab it in with my sponge the blush I've been using, which I really like, is by Tarte, and it comes in this little thing, and it has like a little highlighter, it has a blush, and it has a, oh, it's the blush, it has a little um, bronzer, so I really like the blush, and I just go ahead and add a little bit of color to my cheeks is kind of turning into like a little makeup tutorial which it's not I'm just kind of telling you guys what I use on the daily and what I recommend um, again I hope my makeup's turning out okay because I am NOT looking in a mirror and then I'll go ahead in with a little brow pencil just to go ahead and give them a little brush I actually set up an appointment to get my brows waxed on Thursday because they are they're looking really full and they need some help they need some cleaning up so definitely getting my brows waxed on Thursday but I go ahead and I really like the wet and wild um, eyebrow brush I've used like the more expensive brow brushes and pencils and stuff and like they're great but they're just expensive and honestly like you can get wet and wild at a drugstore I think I got this at like CVS or something and it's affordable it's cheap um and it works really well and I just go ahead and I go in and brush them first and then on the other side is the pencil and then I just go ahead and fill them in and I'm actually gonna go look in the mirror because I can't see I can't see what I'm doing and then just like depending on how I feel I'll put like really light eyeshadow on or um I won't and today I'm actually not going to do that I'm just gonna go straight in with my mascara and the mascara I have been using for years and something I definitely recommend and truly love is the voluminous lash paradise by L'Oreal as well I love this um, mascara it's, it works really good it's affordable again it's cheap you can get it at any drugstore I'm sure and yeah I highly recommend this it definitely adds length to my lashes, but it's very voluminous as it is marketed. So definitely recommend if you are in need of a new mascara, you should definitely check this one out. Okay, so my face is done. This is all I do. Again, very simple, very easy, just very light, but put together. And then... For my hair, since I'm teaching a few classes tonight, I'm not going to do anything crazy to it. Honestly, I'm probably just going to put it in a slicked back bun. I wore a slicked back ponytail yesterday. I typically like it out of my face when I teach. So, yeah, I just do something super simple like that, um, which I'll probably just do in a little bit. I'm just going to keep it down for now because I don't want a headache. So, but that's what I do. Um, so now I think I'm going to go ahead and make some lunch. I'm getting hungry. And then probably take little boy on a walk and get some choreography started. Even if the sky is falling down
I'm teaching three classes today. Um, I have an hour um, break in between my first and second class. So maybe I'll come up with some more choreography. But usually on my way to work, I will snack on a little something. Just a little afternoon snack. These are so good. Dark chocolate blueberry acai. We got these at Aldi. They're kind of like the knockoff of the other brand that I can't think of right now. But yeah, so on the way to work now. And then teaching for the rest of the evening. And then I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing for dinner tonight because John has <clears throat> his men's group tonight for church and I'm getting done at 8.30, which means I'll be getting home close to nine o'clock. So maybe tonight will be a night I pick something up. I'm not really sure yet, but maybe I'll brainstorm on my little break this evening. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and just let you know what is going on. We are back home now, all snuggly on the couch. Yes, are. I ended up eating Taco Bell for dinner because we had it was miscommunication. But it's okay, just a little bit. Um, I thought he was gonna make the ground beef before he went to his men's group tonight and he wasn't that hungry. And because he wasn't that hungry, he didn't make it. So. Which I told you. Which he told me, but again, it was miscommunication. So. Was it miscommunication or did you not listen to what I said? Miscommunication. <laughs> so I had Taco Bell, which was good. And he had six hamburgers. Yes. Just hamburgers because he's doing the carnivore diet. So. Because that's what we are. We're carnivores. But I like my carbs too. Sorry to all the vegans that are watching this. No offense. Whatever works for you works for you. Mm-hmm. But anyway, just wanted to close out the vlog today. And I don't even know if you can see B. <clears throat> like, he is a mood right now. He's so cute. But I wanted to close out the vlog. Say good night. And, yeah. Merry Christmas. Wish it was still Christmas. To all, and to all, a good night. Good night.